claims of thousands of dollars in payoffs and kickbacks to a public official, all part of a long-running pay-to-play scam to award unqualified students fraudulent cosmetology and barber licenses in the district. And on 7 News at 6 o'clock, our I-Team reporter Scott Taylor told you how it all went down, but that's only part of this unsettling story. Tonight, he's pushing past the stonewalling in some D.C. departments, including the mayor's office, to get to the very bottom of this outrageous con. Hi, Olivia. What she said to me is that you won't be successful without me. This won't happen without me. David Brunson is talking about this woman, Olivia French, a one-time beauty school owner and former member of the D.C. Cosmetology Board, appointed to the board by D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser. She's a seasoned manipulator. She's seasoned. Brunson teamed up with French to start his own beauty school, but never opened it after learning she was fraudulently selling cosmetology and barber licenses to students for thousands of dollars. French would kick back some of that money to an official in D.C.'s Department of Licensing and Consumer Protection. Students got the licenses without taking required classes or passing written exams, and by submitting, they attended French's closed beauty school on their application. And I'm, I'm guilty. I'm ready to pay price. French admitted her involvement in the pay-to-play scam when the I-team caught up with her near her home in the district. She said she paid a D.C. Department insider up to $500 in application for the past four years. How much money are we talking about? Thousands of dollars oh, for each person? You're talking about thousands. Brunson, who's also a commercial airline pilot, says he tried to warn district officials multiple times about the scam and exchanged emails with a DLCP investigator. He says his messages fell on deaf ears. There's been no results from anything. That's when Brunson reached out to 7 News. The I-team on multiple occasions tried to get D.C. officials' attention so the district could conduct its own investigation. Incredibly, nobody across the street at the DLCP was interested. They said they would not talk on camera, and they suggested we contact the Inspector General's office. But the IG's office, located right here behind me, didn't want to hear what we learned either. So they told us to call their hotline, which we did. By the way, it was having problems. The wireless customer you are calling is not available. Please try again later. We also sent multiple emails to D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser's office, which is located right across the street. We also called that office several times. Seven News alerted the mayor's office to potential fraud inside the DLCP. We never got any official response. Do you want to know about, do you want to know about fraudulent activity in your department? So, like, let's talk, let's, uh, sorry, can you stop recording? That's DLCP's Interim Director Shirley Kwan Wei. She declined our interview requests, so we caught up to her as she was leaving her office. What is, what is your department trying to cover up? Man? If you want to sit down and talk to us. There's nothing that we are covering up, but uh, I then will Then why have haven't you been transparent and cooperative and sat down with us? Excuse me one second. I'm not going to leave this So you're not going to let us know? Okay, I'd love to sit down and talk to you. Olivia French did sit down with 7 News after our interview on the street. She says she needed the licensing scam to financially survive and is now exposing it all because she wants people to know about government corruption. What would you say to people who earned these licenses, you know, the right way and went to 1,500 hours of school and mm -hmm. paid everything, took the test? Mm -hmm. And they find out that mm -hmm. I could have just went to you and mm -hmm. gotten one easily. What would you say to them? Well, I would say to them that it, it's a sad um, commentary that this is what happens in the government. If you can pay, you can play. Keep in mind, David Brunson never opened up any beauty school, not one. He's hired an attorney as considering suing the district. DLCP told us tonight there is now an active investigation, but won't tell us who's behind that investigation. Previously, we were contacted by the commission that gives professional schools in D.C. a license. It's launching its own investigation. For the I-Team, Scott Taylor, 7 News.